What is happening, my YouTubers? This is Shadow Stalker, and this is a Black Ops commentary. And I have this is my first Black Ops game in months. And when I say months, I mean more than just freaking two months. It's been much more than that. It, it's been how long? Um, I don't know. But I have been taking a Black Ops holiday. You know what that is? Black Ops holidays. You know when you sort of just take a break off of Black Ops and play other games. Um, it's not because you know Black Ops has been really annoying me or it's been very boring. It's not like that. Don't take the wrong idea. Um, I've been having lots of fun in Modern Warfare 2. Um, I've been trying to just complete all my challenges in Modern Warfare 2. You know, getting all the headshots, unlocking all the attachments, and trying to finish off like nuke challenges. Unfortunately, I have been I have not been recording any of those, <laughs> you know, epic journeys. Uh, because yeah, you know the reason why. I'm on my recorded thing. I'm not really gonna be going over that. But this has been my first Black Ops games in a pretty long time and you're gonna see my aim is actually pretty bad that's the reason um, it's it, it's because I didn't really like I don't know the style and gameplay the feeling when you play Black Ops it's not the same feeling you get when you're playing Modern Warfare 2 it's just there's something different I can't really you know put my finger on it it's on the tip of my tongue and I really just can't describe it, but you will see my aim is a bit off at some times. And it's not because I've been losing, I, I guess you can say it's sort of been losing my skill, but in the end I got a pretty good score in gameplay. And, you know, I'm, I don't plan to prestige anymore in Black Ops. I'm, I think I'm 7th prestige right now. And again, I don't plan on prestiging. Because I just think the seventh prestige emblem just looks mint, sick, badass. And there you can see, you can see what I'm talking about when I say my aim is off. It's very off. I really should have gone that guy, but it was a bit fluky my shots. <coughs> and but I actually, uh, I managed to get a good score in the end. You'll see me, I camp a lot in this game, that's because I'm just trying to, you know, regain my Black Ops skills first. You know, before I go out there running and gunning, I want to make sure that I still got the hang of it. So I just sort of camp it off. And, you know, don't troll on me, don't hit on me just saying, oh, you know, you suck, camper, camper, you know. Don't get angry. <laughs> I'm just trying to sort of, like you know regain my black ops talent because black ops is different from my perspective than modern warfare 2 it's just again the feeling you know the controls like here i just i was raided by hit markers in modern warfare 2 i would have gone that and that's what i'm talking about it's been it's very hard you know black ops and surprisingly i managed to get a good score and this is my first game in freaking months and I was just shocked when I got it like oh my god you know I really got that good of a score and the guys I'm playing against they weren't a bunch of retards they were pretty good I just managed to sort of outsmart them actually you can actually say that they're pretty retarded um, they just keep on running the same route and over and over and over again and I sort of took note of it they always like to try to get to our spawn using this this area of the map which I don't really think it's smart I mean yeah it's good to do every once in a while you know once would be alright you know but twice I take note of it so in the next time if you if you play against me in like any match remember to switch up your positions don't don't do what these guys you know in the enemy team are doing right now just taking the same route over and over again because if you do that, then I'll take note of it, and all I have to do is just not sit my ass off, but patrol an area. And by the chances are, I can get a good KD. And what else to talk about? 
Yeah, I've been completing challenges in Modern Warfare 2 and in Killzone 3. Killzone 3, I've been leveling up quite a lot. Modern Warfare 2, I've been unlocking, trying to unlock all my gun's attachments. I managed to get Intervention, all of its attachments. And I, I'm still not prestiging in Modern Warfare 2 because I, I just don't think it's worth it in a game like Modern Warfare 2. In a game like Black Ops, it's pretty much worth it to prestige because you can get all your stuff back pretty easily. You know, you want extended mags, all you have to do is get 2,000 COD points and you already get it, which I don't think it should be too hard. If you're a very fastidious person, then it shouldn't be too hard. But in Modern Warfare 2, say you've unlocked all the attachments on a gun like, I don't know, the F2000, you got fall camo on the M21 EBR then you prestige and it's gonna be hard to regain all those things back I mean in black ops you prestige all you have to do is gain cash be very fastidious and you can already pretty much get anything you want you know that you got from your last prestige or whatnot so I don't really plan on prestiging in modern warfare 2 uh, and in black ops again the reason why I don't want to prestige is because of, you know, <laughs> it's a bit silly the reason why is because, you know, I just think the 7th prestige emblem just looks so badass. And people are going to be asking me, oh, well, you know, you can't always put as your emblem. Um, I, c I don't want that because I want a another emblem. I want people to see my, you know, prestige, em prestige symbol on the pre-game lobby but at the same time I want to have a different emblem when they check my title my player title card thingamajig and yeah you can see I'm racking up kill streaks. I'm sort of using the same technique I do I use when I'm trying to get a nuke in Modern Warfare 2 because this is how I get like all my nukes I think I've called in about six nukes I know that's not a lot in for you know <laughs> it pros out there but this is the sort of mentality I'm applying to black ops um, just sort of taking an area and patrolling because in a game like black ops actually in, in a more realistic sort of game like killzone 3 camping in a building won't get you more than two or three kills per life uh, fortunately it's not the same in Black Ops, which is great. I mean, you know, nobody likes a camper, and it's not a very exciting video to see someone just sitting their ass off in one small fucking building. And that's what I try to do. Not, not you know, sit my ass off in a building, but I'm trying to make it as interesting as possible. You know, I'm running around an area, but I'm not just sitting my ass off in a building. And I'm getting close to attack dogs. I actually failed with this Huey. CTF using a Huey is not very smart because of the spawn delay. And I think more than half of the people in the enemy team was using Ghost. I, either that or all of them just practically died. Now here I'm so close to my dogs. To my attack dogs. I think I have one more kill left. And I am not using Hardline. I'm using Scavenger. I don't... I don't really like using Hardline in Black Ops. I prefer to use Ghost. Um, and same thing with Modern Warfare 2. I prefer using Cold Blooded or yeah, I think Cold Blooded rather than Stopping Power because I don't really see the use in, of Stopping Power in Modern Warfare 2. The guns are already all like, you know, overpowered. So, what's the point of having a perk that lets you even more damage. I mean, like like using an AK and stopping power. That's the most mandatory perk. Now, using stopping power for a gun like the F2000 or I don't know, some a gun like that, like an, an Uzi or a Vector, then might be. I can see the sense in it. But Black Ops, you can see I got like sometimes just a lot of hit markers. And it is very different. I'm slowly just regaining my skills. 
and the commentary is just about to wrap up I actually finally got out of my spawn um, because I'm confident now I have attack dogs I, I can sort of use the attack dogs my attack dogs to sort of defend me give me some support and you know I still just sort of rape the, the team and the commentary is just wrapping up I am a shadow stalker and I will see you guys later.